So Antonio Brown posted a picture of his junk on his Instagram story or his Snapchat story. I don't know which one it was. Let me just say right now, I think if they wanted an excuse to finally put him in prison, this is it. Because like I was tweeting about it yesterday, this isn't nudes being leaked out of somebody. This is a grown man publicly willingly just posting his you know what on his story for millions to see. Isn't that indecent exposure? I, I don't know the rules, I don't know the laws, I guess, but it seems like it could be. Darn you, Vontez Perfect. Anyway, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, and welcome to my Super Bowl predictions, essentially. Yeah, I'm just gonna be predicting the rest, because we only got four games this weekend, two games next, and then obviously the Super Bowl, so seven games total. Real quick, before we hop into the video, we got a couple of quick plugs, as always. So one, head over to gfuel.com, use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. And two, if you're 18 years or older, you can head over to Prize Picks, the daily fantasy app where code Wyatt's World will match up to $100 of your first deposit. They got everything, guys. Football, baseball, Baseball, basketball, soccer, hockey, MMA, League of Legends, Call of Duty, literally everything, but always remember, play responsibly, and let's get into it. Alright, so our first divisional game of the weekend comes Saturday, and it is going to be the Jags at the Chiefs. Listen, you're, you're not gonna like this. And I'll dig more into it later, but the Jags are gonna win that game. I've been thinking this ever since the game versus the Chargers ended. No, I'm not gonna say because it's rigged. But for two reasons, one of them, like I said, we'll dig into later, but one of them because the Jags are a sneaky good team that can just pop off out of nowhere. For some reason, I feel like the Chiefs are taking them lightly. I feel like they're taking them a little bit too lightly. The game is going to start off and it's going to be competitive, but Kansas City is going to have a lead and then going into the second half, Jacksonville is going to start to come out firing and the game is going to end with the Jaguars ahead 31 to 24. Jacksonville's gonna be stunned, Kansas City's gonna be stunned, you're all gonna be stunned, the world is gonna be stunned, but the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to the AFC Championship again. All right, moving on to the next divisional game. We are going into the NFC. It is Saturday night, the Giants in Philadelphia. The Eagles are gonna win this game, and I'm sorry, New York. I've given you guys nothing but love. You know it's no disrespect at this point, but here, here's why. The Eagles defense is not the Vikings defense. Do I think Daniel Jones is good? Do I think he's made improvements? A hundred percent, but I don't think he is going to be able to do what he did in Minnesota against the Eagles in Philadelphia. And in order to beat Philadelphia, that is what they're going to need to do. Jalen should be healthy. The run game is going to be present. If they start to focus on the run, he's just going to light up Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. Like I said, the defense is good. I think they're going to give Daniel a hard time. They're going to provide pressure. I think they'll probably pick him off once. Saquon might struggle to get upfield. I think it'll start close, but it's going to end with a pretty big gap. I'll take Philly to win this game. 28-14. Uh, all right, next game, we are going back to the AFC. It is Cincinnati at Buffalo, and to nobody's shock, I'm taking the Bills to win this game 30-21. to Look, I'm starting to come to peace with this. I don't want to play the Bengals. I am a little bit scared of them. I know they could beat us, but I don't think they're going to. I know I missed a lot of the game against Baltimore. Like I said, I fell asleep, but I went back. I did some research. In that playoff game, the Bengals only had 234 total yards of offense. The Bills had 423. As much as I want to bash on Buffalo's performance against Miami, Cincinnati didn't really have a convincing win against Baltimore. Both of these teams were shut down. I expect both teams to bounce back, but this is in Buffalo. You're getting the Winter Soldier in his own castle. Buffalo ain't going to lose this game. They'll correct the flaws from last week. They're going to focus on Jamar Chase. I guarantee you that one. I don't expect Cincinnati to run a whole lot on Buffalo. I got the Buffalo Bills winning, and they're going on to the AFC Championship to take on Jacksonville. All right, and moving on to the last NFC divisional game. It is Sunday night, Dallas at San Francisco. I have a really bad feeling that San Francisco is going to blow it right here. I don't know why. But thankfully, they're playing Dallas, who is also probably going to blow it. So I'm okay. I think San Francisco is going to walk away with the win here, but it's not going to be a dominating one. It's going to be really close, and this is going to be a game of the year contender. I'm going to say the 49ers actually tackle the Cowboys 24 to 23. See, the thing about this is the 49ers and the Cowboys both lit up their opponents in the playoffs, but their opponents were the Bucks and the Seahawks, and they ranked the third worst and the worst defense out of the entire postseason. So it's like, what can we really think? You want to look at it from a defensive perspective, San Francisco only allowed 330 yards while Dallas allowed 386. So mathematically there, if both offenses click and both defenses show up just like they did, San Francisco is going to pull ahead by a little bit. That's not why I'm picking them though. I'm picking them because I think San Francisco literally has the best roster in the entire league. Dallas, you know, if you watch them, they can get shut down. They don't always have an answer. San Francisco, they do. Every week since acquiring CMC, they have won. 
I have no reason to believe they won't be able to figure out Dallas and win this game. You know, like it's there. I don't think it's going to be by a lot. I think it's going to be by a point, but they will go on to face Philly in the NFC Championship game. All right, moving on to the next game, we got the AFC Championship, at least what I think will be the AFC Championship, and it's Jacksonville at Buffalo, and I will now give you the second reason as to why Jacksonville will beat Kansas City. Because Buffalo is going to win this game, they're going to go to the Super Bowl, and that is going to be the biggest excuse we get to hear over the next year about how Buffalo would have never went on to the Super Bowl had they had to face Kansas City. You know, statistically, because the Chiefs just always beat Buffalo in the playoffs. You know, kind of like I mentioned with Buffalo, you know, they've gone through everything this year. They have overcome obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. If they were to get Jacksonville at home, they ain't losing. And if they get Kansas City on a neutral field, by the way, they ain't losing. Micah Hyde should be back. The secondary should be juiced. I'll never talk down on Jacksonville. I know what they're capable of. I know what Doug's capable of. He's a great head coach, but he ain't great enough to beat the almighty boys in blue in the Winter Soldier in Buffalo. Bills will take down the Jags 33-26 in a good game, and they're going to the Super Bowl. All right, next game we got is what I think will be the NFC Championship, and it will be actually uh, 49ers at Philly. I think, I'm 99% certain. This one, to probably no one shock either, I'm picking San Francisco because I don't think there's anybody in the NFC good enough to beat them. I hardly think there's anybody in the league good enough to beat them. If there is a team in the league that's gonna shut down the Jalen Hurts ran Philadelphia offense, it is the San Francisco 49ers. If Philly makes it to the championship game and they're not playing San Fran, you might as well just send them right to the bowl because they're not losing. But in my fantasy world here, I got them playing San Francisco and I got the 49ers winning this game will go uh, 24-7. This would be a really, really fun game to watch too because it would just be full of tricks. Both of these offenses can be so fun to watch, man. It would be like mind games. But when the dust clears, I got San Francisco, like I said, taking the win. However, I do want to go on to say one thing here. If Jacksonville were to make the Super Bowl and play Philly, Doug Peterson would have to run the Philly special against Philly, right? Anyway, that was completely off topic. I got the 49ers going to the Super Bowl. All right, and finally, moving on, we got the Super Bowl. Buffalo versus San Francisco, and I don't even know where it is. Is it in Vegas this year? Maybe, I don't care. Oh yeah, though, of course, I gotta predict my boys to go there. If anybody watched this video and they're like, oh, he's not gonna pick Buffalo to go to the Super Bowl, I'm sorry, but you're kind of an egghead. Any fan base of any team in the playoffs at this moment, they're going to the Super Bowl. If you're not thinking that way, then you're not a fan. And you guys could probably also guess this. I'm not going to predict Buffalo to go to the Super Bowl and lose. I'm not sure how it would happen. I'm not sure how they would take down the almighty 49ers, but they would. You know, I don't know if Josh Allen will have to shoot lightning from his ass. I don't know if Stefan Diggs will have to bring a literal AK-47 onto the field. I don't know if Von Miller will have to suit up with a torn ACL. Whatever has to be done will be done. And the Bills are going to terminate the 49ers for their first ever ring. And I'm gonna cry a lot. And I'll get a tattoo, and I'll also jump through a table. A lot of things are about to happen if Buffalo wins a Super Bowl. Score? I don't know. Uh, we'll go 42 to 41. But obviously, this is all just a mere prediction, and we have to get through the divisional rounds for this to come true. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my playoff Super Bowl predictions, but this is where we're gonna end the video. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you already know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my absolute best to post on this channel every single day. Everything I just said, I hope you guys have a good one. As always, I will see you the next time I upload.